talk about how to set up. Usually, uh, terminology-wise, um, what we're using um, in the in the model sheet is I, I I do think you need to swing the camera up because that's why I want this camera to follow follow me. Yeah. Yeah, I know. This is my main softbox. Uh, the main softbox. This is actually a uh, called quick, easy setup, easy lock softbox. And uh, usually uh, carries you carries the softbox like this. And uh, you open like umbrella. There's a pull inside. There's a, the shaft inside. And that's why I usually want to have a camera come to me so you can see. You can see there's a shelf inside. There's a shelf inside for you to open it like an umbrella. Oh. It's to be hard. Yeah, now you gotta do that on the floor. Okay. Once you open it up, there's a double baffle. That's the internal baffle. Internal baffle. Yeah. Show you this is a this is a what's look like inside and the internal baffle and snap it in. I usually leave it up, I don't take it down. And then that's called the double baffle. This is the second second diffuser, second diffuser. Um, In normally, uh, in a sense, what this is, it's called a grid. Grid controls the light spread to narrow angle. In today's events, I'm gonna use this as a, my the main light. For the main light, I'm not gonna use this grid light. Uh, it's only a specific look. I will talk about it later. So I'm gonna remove the grid light. And for today's lecture, we are going to use uh, three, we use three LED light, which is those are very, very bottom. It's not, um, it's only the last few years. Those are, I have a two of the 100 watt equivalent light output of 1000 watt, two of the 100 watts. And the main light, it's one single 200 watts. It's very, very bright if I have to turn it all the way up. And uh, so, but for now I'm gonna turn it off and then you can see it gets too dark. See, you're not covering me. This thing has to be mobile. It's all right. Can you see on this side? Yeah. Can you come back? I forgot. Uh, so I'm going to 
want to use this as my main light to shine the model. Uh, in my illustration, in my Flickr account, I also said that there are two, uh, there's terminologies of X and Y. X and Y is to provide a rim light on the side of the face through this tool. So the subject will be three dimensional. And now I'm gonna have my model to come in. And uh, everybody say hello to Miss Lacey. She's gonna fight through all the cables. Lacey has been my model for several times in the future, in the, in, not in the future, in the past, right. Yeah, you, you will see all my, two of my X and Y, I have grid on because I wanted to control the light pattern to be in a narrow focus. Oh, by the way, I forgot to say, those are the strip box. Strip box, whatever strip box means, it's pretty narrow open in the front, but it's wide open on the side, and they come in different sizes. This is three feet strip box. That's a four feet strip box, and uh, they go as big as uh, six feet long strip box, so you can shine an entire face. The same as the main light, they all have a baffle inside, a double baffle. So, and the, the last item, some of them are used as with a flash on top of it. It's called the highlighter. Highlighter. Uh, a few of my illustration has a highlighter. It means has a, give you a reflection on the eyeball under the eye. And the usually, Usually place it right below where the camera cannot see. Yeah.
So using my lights on this side, camera on this side, I'm gonna turn it from here. There's a reason I do this. Can I do this? Okay, this, I'm pretty much set for that light, except my light is obstructing my camera. <laughs> I do have a remote. I usually use studio light, flashlight, so I don't have to go up there changing. Okay, I think I'm all set. It's about right. Oh, no wonder it shuts off. This one I have so Did you see my, uh, I'm gonna put it on the floor. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna zoom in. Pretty good. Um, um, the light is pretty set. I like it as is. Let me shoot one just to show you. What is, oh, I don't have a car. Stupid. Where's the other camera? And then you notice on my, usually uh, a model like this, I can go actually go even finer focus. Yeah, point, fine point. You see my, that's my focusing point. You see, that's my focusing point. You always wanna to focus to the nearest eye, nearest eye. I'm gonna have you head towards that's head down a little bit, a little bit more forward, so the chain. I'm gonna focus on the near eye, and that's the image with the shot. Now there, are, um, the lighting wise, everything is okay. This one, nothing wrong with it. Um, this is pretty much what we're gonna talk about it today, but. Uh, next, we want to talk more in terms of uh, how we're going to do the lighting. How we're going to do the lighting. Uh, no better either indoor or outdoor OCF shoot. The main light, the main light, which is this one, no matter, uh, that's why I post my model to a certain direction because it's hard for me to move my light. So I might move my model towards the camera, towards the light. Model towards the light. Um, uh, I also was talking to you. Um, what they call follow the nose. Follow the nose means main light always same axis of her nose hitting her. So it's the best looking hitting her nose is the best. It's always the best. If you want her face turned this way, you move the light turned in this way. That, that's not the same as the direction of the camera. It's always the, the light should face. Let me, uh, let me chain down a little bit. Yeah. I think I'm gonna go up a little more. Head, so give me a head slightly kill too much. Okay, chin down a little bit. No, I up, uh, yeah, chin down a little more. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll move this. 
Do you will see a very close thing. I don't know if you can zoom in. You will see a there is a reflection in the bottom of the eyeball. It's from this eye line. Too slow, yeah. It's good. How does it look? I think I need a bit more strong. I actually have another light on top, but it's too heavy for me to send. The way on top, it's a flashlight. It's usually to be set for a hair light on the very top. It's a small one. It's also, it's a graded uh, 360 Goldox. Yeah. Now, this is what we call pretty standard portrait, studio portrait. Now I'm going to talk about a little bit about posing. I'm not going to talk a whole lot because that again takes a whole class. And uh, for illustration wise, I'm going to take this uh, eye reflector away because it's pretty hard to talk about it with this thing in the middle. Yeah. Uh, usually, a model, let me have your hair on this side. A model, one thing is, you see, she sits perfectly, but it's called pyramid composition. The face is diagonal, your hands slightly away. That's one composition, it's a, make a triangle. That's good. Make a triangle for one, for two, uh, for some lady with heavy arm. It draws your arm away from your body to make it, instead of flat, make the arm away from your body, make it move more rounded. That's always the case. I will show you some of the example from my Flickr account uh, pictures later on. It's not my picture. Nice picture, good, great lighting. The only thing is those are 316 ladies, but they are kind of heavy body. They all put your arm in, the, that's no, no. You always put your arm away from the body, make it in triangle. Make a triangle, also the leg also make a triangle. Right, so this is a be perfect. Right, I'm gonna do another shoot. Give me a, give me a head. Head's good, head's good. Just eye look up, only the eye look up, right. Another one. Open lip, give me show cues. That's good, that's good. That's good. Chain down. Big eye. That's good, that's good. Um, another thing I forgot to mention earlier, when I shoot model, unless the model is size zero, super skinny, I never, never put a model in a straight on position. So this is the, will be the widest, broadest body. You don't wanna do that. Always turn to the sideways. And uh, besides the sideways also shows the curve of the body. Of course, yeah, this is perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay, I want to hear, but I don't want to hear the whole thing. Usually, it's here. That's down a bit. I'm going to turn your head towards me. Right, that's good. That's good. 
that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Usually this will be a perfect shell for vertical shell. Um, now, now we talk on posing. Uh, what we had it earlier is just basic posing um, uh, for turn the body away. And what they were saying during shooting wedding or ladies' portrait, the best is to light the face, light the face to the nose straight on, but light the body across, light the face straight on like what we did right now like the body across that's a reason okay for one i'm sorry it shows the cleavage three-dimensional or two lots of wedding dresses lots of wedding dresses have a lot of beads lot of beads and uh, patterns on the dress you like across the body makes the beads three-dimensional, light and shadow on the three-dimensional, it looks a lot better. So wedding dress, the model is always body away from the camera, away from the camera, but the face either into the camera or face into the lighting. Face into the camera or face into the lighting. But uh, in my case right now, the lighting is next to the camera, right? She is awesome, Bobby. Right. Yeah, I don't use I don't usually shoot under video like, like this. Um, Usually, always using flash, but since I have to illustrate it today, I'm using video light. Right. Okay. Here's a few other poses I can do just for the headshot. The camera is blocking the mouth. Okay. You get it. Yeah. Um, here's a few other few tricks I like to do. They're pretty quick. A good model it can do very well. Uh, 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 amateur model, you need to show them a little bit. Okay. Um, they are all goes with hands. That's why when I do shoot models, I do want to make sure I have a bright lipstick. Not today, because I want to show the light pattern and the lighting. Not necessarily has to model have to pull full makeup on. I usually shoot with full makeup, nails, bright lipsticks matching, which I even have one in my camera bag for last minute in case. And so once you do that, that hands, not only the, just the face, the hands are all, even hands and feet, they're both part of your composition. And this is one of them. This is one of them. Awesome, this is great. That's still eye down, eye close. I open eye up. Right, that's it. Uh -huh. 
an eye to the camera. Give me a big eye. And the lip apart. Now give me a smile. Mm -hmm. Awesome. It, she's awesome. Yeah. Um, I still have a little, little bit deficiency. I have a good highlight on the face, on the side, but I expose for the face. Usually, what the, when we used to do a long time ago using a film camera, we turn off all the lights, just turn on the main light only, use a flash meter to measure exposure on the face. Once you got that set, that is your camera. Right now, it's 250, uh, what is it, uh, 125. Right now, it's 125 F4, uh, the ISO 400. Um, if the film, you use ISO 400, this is going to be using for the main light. Um, then I turn on, then you have to do each by each. You go, turn on the side light, the accent light, the measure the light, to then you increase the light to one stop over the main light. You you will notice actually the face side is actually the this face side is overblown. That's designed that way. Um, and that part is. That one is supposed to be have more more light. I don't know why it's not. It's already on the maximum. Not get any higher. Yeah. Uh, both accent light. I do have a lights on that side. If you do windows, can you see on that side? Yeah. Yeah. That side. The two side light can be one stop. It's supposed to be one stop over, or even more, even more. Um, so it's the third light, the third light, or you can have, you can move this light up on the top, shining from top down. Basically the same thing, except it lit from the top down, or we change the terminology called hair light. Since I'm shooting from the side, it's called accent light, uh, or, feel, or not a fielding light. Uh, okay. Um, in complete sentence, in complete studio, other than main light, two accent light and a hair light, there should be another light, it's called the fill-in light, which I'm not using today. The fill-in light is called, this is the highlight side from the face. Fill-in light is shooting from the weak side to fill in the flash on the shadow side. But um, that's if, that's if, the main light is, uh, but my main light source is big enough for one, for two, the main light source is so close to the subject. The lights, this light is kind of wrapped around the subject. The subject from that side and this side, it's all lit up of the same, except my accent light is also close to this axis. So I usually don't use fill light. Yeah, when you use a fill light, you probably don't need another accent light. You probably move this one just strictly up on the hair light only, right? Yeah. It changed down a little bit, right? Yeah, and a few more, a few more uh, posing I want to do. We just did this one, dude. You already shot that one? Okay. Uh-huh. And I can do her hands either together or hands one up and down, cupping it. Lift your finger. Right, perfect. Awesome. And let your eye look straight in the light. Yeah. Yeah. Look back at me. Sorry. There's nothing to focus on. 
and the chain down a little bit, and the big guy. Awesome. Give me a smile. Big smile. Nice smile. Want to chain up? Right. Good job. I can change this composition. I can change immediately a little bit. Is doing this. Remember, you have to model your hands put underneath, but finger open like that. Right, perfect. That's not everybody can, can do the middle finger. On middle finger. That's good. That's good. Okay. Give me an eye in the light. Am I blocking up? Yeah, almost. A little bit. Yeah. Change down a little bit. Eye up. Right. Yeah. Open lip a little bit. Uh-huh. You notice I have her I up, ask her to chain down. Why I always say chain down and I up? Chain down, I up, that makes the maximum size of your eye right open. If you look at me, if you're shooting me, I chain up, but I have to look in the camera, my eye has to screening, close down. If I have a chain down, if my chain down, my eye have to open big. But there is a rule. That's not always the case. If I have her chain down, her eye way, way up, then I see too much white. As long as if I see the white of the eye, uh, I'll be too much. Just barely a little bit slightly, you will see position the eyeball a little bit with uh, the white uh, not seen in a picture. So it's about right. Furthermore, that's another reason for chain down. You, when you shoot chain down, you can move the camera up for a little heavier people, I mean, especially rounded people. Uh, face has a round face people. You want to shoot from above down. You're, the face looks slimmer instead of going up. Of course, if you have a skinny lady, it doesn't matter. Right. right. Um, um, she right now we're shooting over uh, uh we're talking but now we talk about shoulder we're talking about she's her shoulder is flat there's a, two different way we can do uh, two different way we can do one is called hike the shoulder she, basically her weight is tilted backwards this one if you have a crop top their shoulder is the perfect Called hike the shoulder. Yeah, that's called hike the shoulder. Hike the shoulder, running a risk of the arm being wide. So you gotta be careful or crop it out when you when you do the position. And also you can crop hike the shoulder, but arm still out. Yeah, yeah. The other one it's called drop the shoulder. Same thing. Look at me. Look at me. My shoulder just drop. Drop the shoulder. Same thing, you can have a bra, chain, and neck area. You can show to the camera. The, the face still up, up. Right. You see, this all area is you have pop up. Uh, yeah, I have the, the button. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, those are our uh, composition for the headshots. What else need to talk about the headshots? Face, we do face, right? Uh, the face, um, hands. Under the lights, yeah. Right. Yeah, okay. And also, Um, 
you notice I a triangle triangle composition wise uh, triangle triangle um, there are a few other triangle posing why I usually do this hands off they give you one triangle the other hand goes up one triangle one triangle second triangle usually I can pose a leg to do another triangle drop one leg I noticed she has a little tummy, so usually, but hers is not that big. She just won't be as much. A lot of ladies ask me, oh, can you Photoshop me out? Which I don't. I don't do Photoshopping for all my pictures. I up, I up, go ahead. Awesome. Ready? One, two, three, suck in. Awesome. Did you see the difference? Yeah, okay. Yeah, you can relax now. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. That was good. That was a good shot. That was a good shot. Okay. Another way also you can, you can, your hands, across your body to 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 cover your mid part it's pretty easy to do so and i have your body being forward okay. make sure toe to the camera perfect toe to the camera yes give me i look in the light Chain down a little more. The eyes still back at your right. And the eye look in the camera. Chain down for the mark. Can you smile? Mm -hmm. Smile, suck in. You will see another one triangle, second triangle. I can create another triangle. You notice I also place her hands, uh, hands. I don't know if anybody do flamingo dance. Nancy lately, then say we are learning the uh, Jiang Man Yan, Jiang Man Yu. Suzy. Suzy. Her dance is very good. So she needs to teach us how to do the posing for the lady posing. See, flamingo dance, the hands like this. Hands open, open, dip in the middle hand, finger. See, see this one, if I do a perfect nail, it'll be perfect. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Nope. Ready? One, two, three, something. Yes, you did it, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, good job. Uh, of course, uh, that was a sit-down portrait, the half body portrait. And then I'm going to talk about a little bit about the full body portrait. Full body portrait, I'm going to move the light back a little bit because it's going to be, at this desert direction, only, this light can only cover the top half of the body. So uh, 
I'm going to move this back. I do have a rectangular four foot by three foot, but the connector rod is missing a screw, so uh, it won't come up. One one side is gonna collapse, so I need to go get that fixed. Once I pull my, my light back, I also need to need to increase the color, to increase the light output, which I have a remote. I cannot find it. Yeah. Give me a standard T. What a standard T is, the back feet go horizontal to the camera. The front ones, this is standard runway T on top of T zi tai, nigga zou tai de shi hou, in the top of T tai de shi hou, the feet like this, nope, the back, the other feet comes up. Right, let me position you back a little bit. Let's get a little bit stuck back. Standard, standard, standard T. First, the feet go straight down, right? Knee lock, and that knee lock straight down, right? Slide it over to that left. The toe turn as much, right, perfect. Yeah. Okay. Now we're talking about preferably the hands on the waist, but there's two different ways you can do this way, or you can swing the hands back that way. Either way, it's fine. There's no good ones or bad ones, but I usually prefer, prefer the back, uh, back hand. Well, for the portrait, I usually turn my camera vertical, but my monitor have to turn vertical as well. So I'm not going to do that. I'll just shoot uh, the whole thing horizontal for now. Uh, this is a pretty typical uh, knee straight. Uh, okay, uh, place your foot. It'll even cross over a little bit. Right, that's it. That's it. That's it. I'll tell her to do one. Perfect. Good job. Maybe have a little bit of look at the light. Awesome. This is a good one. This is good. Um, I'm going to just do one another one exactly the same. Just this feet instead of straight. That's it. Make sure. Right. That's it. Good job. This is awesome. Okay. Uh, exactly the same, don't move. I forgot to suck in. Right. Yeah. <laughs> One, two, three, suck in. Awesome. Good job. Um, not just today, I set my camera on a uh, tripod. This is actually a, uh, this is actually a called camera stand. This is actually a camera stand. And um, I don't know if anybody used them. Uh, I, well, of course, you cannot take this one on a, on a trip on a shooting outdoor. But a camera stand is a good thing is you can 
you can switch. I usually set my camera on vertical axis, but the camera stand, you can go up and down anytime. My camera, yeah. Do you remember any, anybody went to uh, uh, Edward Tan studio? He shows up, uh, two of them. You'll notice there's, you can put two or uh, even more. Um, I usually, when I shoot vertical, a camera sits here. This thing goes way on the top, set my flat, um, big giant softbox on top of it, straight down. That could be done so. That could be done so, but since I'm gonna use that as a, so this is, you can use both as a light stand or camera stand. Yeah. Um, another reason I set my tripod either indoor, outdoor, anytime when I shoot, I use a tripod. No matter where, except except Japanese garden, they don't let you bring it in. <laughs> Am I right? The Japanese garden, you cannot use a tripod. This is the only time I don't use a tripod, either in arboretum, fab yards, or uh, white white rock lake. I always set my tri set my tripod. The set my tripod is, as you can see, as you can see from the tripod especially is a mirrorless you can immediately see the composition in the lighting wise in her body in the time you don't have to compose you look at the fine tune you make sure she suck in suck in a little bit and either chest out suck in or take a deep breath or sometimes the feet turn the feet back in, in inward uh, uh, yeah in, back that way the other way I, I, I want to show you the wrong way. Oh, the wrong way. Got yeah. I want to show you the wrong way. Like you're sitting and put your feet. That's a no-no. That's a no-no. That's a no-no. You always, it's always preferred to have the feet tip toe towards the camera. Toe towards the camera. So go back to what we had before. Right. That's right. And this one, I'm going to do uh, multiple triangles. Okay, the other one goes right there. You can put your hair here. You can put your hair here. It's way sharp. The second one goes on the top. And uh, then there's another thing so when you put on a tripod, you can remind yourself to make sure. Yeah, I'm too high, so I'm gonna go down. Yeah. One, two, three, suck it. Perfect. Yeah, look at me. It's too scary to smile. Can you smile? Okay. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, you can put on the side of things. Right. Yeah. yeah. One, two, three, suck it. Yeah, okay, camera face uh, chain down. Yeah. Awesome. Good shot. Right. I can do my hands out. Which one is not even high enough? Uh, right now you'd notice if I if I shoot this I will notice her leg does not have enough definition because I don't have enough light striking the leg I would prefer to have another I usually put another flashlight uh, on the ground right here to strike the leg or on both sides sometimes even both sides to to light the leg leg from the best side because 
flat lighting make it fat. Accent lighting, accent lighting. Uh, what time is it? Do we have time to? Yeah, it's on. Yeah. 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 Because yeah. I, I usually shoot flash. If you notice, I have a total of five. Two. I totally have eight flash. Yeah, but not everything compatible with each other. So, right, let's do it. And look at a few beautiful cake. That's good. Okay. Yeah. Hands up. Please shut. Okay. I open. I open chain down a little bit. Right. One, two, three. Awesome. Good job. Good job. Okay. Good job. Okay. Uh -huh. But my next job, actually, I don't care for the main line. I'm going to do the face, face the line. Face, the not face, face the back line. Face the back line. Face the back line. Only feet. Right. In the upper body, the body stay the same. Upper body swing up. I'll look at that. Let me see. Ah, this thing cannot go any higher. Any higher. That's good. That's good. In the camera? Oh. Right in the camera. Oh. Get all the cameras. Okay, that I, yes. One more. One more second. Okay, that's perfect. Yeah. And then that. Stay the same. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sucking. I'm going to do face jaw waist up sideways. Okay, face. Uh, this one is going to go way close up. No. I will usually, for this shot, I will usually use a 70 to 200 instead. So. Close your eyes, that's right. Lift your chin up a little more. Yeah, but I can mold them. Okay, I understand. Let me get away with it real quick. Well, you can see my composition. Eye up, right. Open it. Uh, let me do another close lip, close eye. I got it yet, really. Yeah. One more. 
Awesome. Okay. Uh, do we have time to do a sitting down or do you need to go? You good? I'm good. Uh, I'm gonna just show comfort. Okay, I have something else. But Uh, this is a stepping stool. Right. You can. Oh. That's perfect. That's right. Everybody see the model? Okay, I think I'm gonna change the battery real quick. Okay. I cannot. Okay, battery is up. Another reason I shoot tripod is I can tell right away what was something I do not like to see. Any model, any model, a good runway model, when they walk up to the runway, they know how to not to turn the inside of the arm facing the camera. That's a no-no. That's a no-no. 
you, a good model at on the runway always turn the back hand side to the camera. When they stand, they always showing the back side of the camera. The back side of the camera. I just know they slide a little bit. Right. Yeah, not anybody can do correctly. Right. And that's just a nitpicking a little bit. You can still put your hand. That's good. Right. Okay. Can your eye look in the light? Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. Now turn your head towards me. I mean, turn your eye towards me. Yeah, it changed on. Okay. The reason I have her head to the camera, eye up, chain up, but when I have her eye come to I have one shot of eye towards the camera, towards the light. I, uh, that's what I wanted. But the second line, as soon as I ask her to eye towards the camera, you do not usually want the model to look out through the eye, corner of the eye, like this. That's why I asked her to chain down a little bit so you can see the eyeball could be a little more centered to, to, the, to, the, to the eye socket. Right, that's good. And then here's another one. We already shot that one. Uh, give me a like that. Yeah. That's perfect. Yeah, the eye the face is okay, except the leg is too, too, too. I would usually put another light clip on. Can I usually have another light clip on this stand? Yeah. Wanna switch your leg? On top. Give me a shoulder draw. That's a good one. Up hill. Hold on. I'm sorry. Let me have you just swing slightly up. Right, that's more natural. Thing. Mm -hmm. no, that's good. Mm -hmm. That's good. Me, I, yeah, look at it. Awesome. This is the show. This is the show. Yeah. Man, I don't know when did I change to. Oh, I was doing close up on the face. That's why I forgot to lower. That's good. That's good. Shop. Yes, I do want to get a closer up on the face. Shop. Open lip. Yeah. 
eyes straight. Right. I look at me, give me a smile. <laughs> uh, I know you're looking at the sideways. Can you turn the camera sideways? <laughs> look at it. <laughs> no, this is good. Um, my last pose, still the face, should I just stay the same? The other one, pull the hair back. Hair drop back, drop back. Then you put the hair back. Body to me. Yeah, that's it. Okay, camera, go down. Hey guys. Awesome. Ah. What is that? Uh, no skills. No skills. Um, what's your class? One, two, three. Awesome. I forgot to <laughs> show you everybody looking sideways. Uh, I like this step stool is that you can sit on the top, put the feet up on the two steps, give you a triangle for the feet. Usually the chair, a normal chair, you will not have her feet up. Uh, uh, I am going to do a normal chair. Uh, do you have a formal dress? Uh, I brought a dress. Oh, okay. It's a sun dress. Yeah, let's uh, uh, go ahead. Go ahead, choose some dress. Maybe you're gonna, you, you okay? Yeah. Uh -huh. um, you want to talk about the website real quick? The Flickr? The Flickr, yeah, they, they, they all have the link so you can talk about the pictures from some of the Flickrs. Okay. I like it. Uh, let me use my computer um, to show the Flickr image. Dajashenakibaflikers那个照片打开,Sam会讲一些照片上的问题. Yes, because since we're somebody, you took my school. Oh, you, you, you didn't sit here. <laughs> well, I need to show them my screen. Yeah, they have phone. You can see from the phone. 
cuál es este punto de mí.你要不要用电话上面讲？啊，用电话上面讲，这个马上就起来了。擦一下，这个上到后面。Never happened before. Okay. It's there. Okay. 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 大家把那个 Flickr 打开，我送的那个 link 上面啊，这个是讲的 OCF， 这上面一个嗯、呃，这不是我拍的，这是一个 master photographer， 他这个是用 studio light， studio light 的话，它的光线的亮度可以比较更好的控制。所以它的明暗度非常好的控制有，这边有一个 hair light， hair light 其实它放在一个角度 up 的话，已经有点是呃 hair light and rim light， 然后这边是主光 ，basically just main light and hair light， 呃， yeah， 嗯，有下边一个 del illustration， 下一张就是它是怎么 set up， you can see。Main light and hair light only, the two lights, and the reflector to below the chain. Ah, these are all what we just used. It's this one, the 60 inch, 16 inch soft box. So 16 inch box, you need that 10, 12 to 12 foot seating height to go up. I don't have that kind of seating, so my maximum size is 36. Oh no, 42 inch. That's a 42 inch soft box. So those are 60 inch soft box with diffuser. So it will give you a very soft light. Uh, this is my picture. This is how my setup was just pretty much like today. That's how I got this picture from. Um, similarly, this is the same way was one soft lock, like what we did today. Yeah. This is pretty much exactly what we did today. Um, this somebody else is showing how the light was used, uh, illustrated. Oh, uh, this one, if you can some, somebody zoom into this one. Okay, um, this one is basically saying, this is called clamshell. Clamshell is what we call clamshell. is a one beauty dish right below the model face, one right above the model face. So on the face, on the eye, there's two soft highlights on the eye, evenly distributed. This is very much used in a beauty magazine cover, uh, magazine cover usage uh, that happens a lot. This is the outdoor with the soft dish, which I have one I can show you later on. Or I'm gonna, this Saturday, I'm gonna use it this way. Outdoor studio lighting. Uh, this is my shot. This is somebody's Holly Davis's shot. Uh, this is Holly Davis's shot. This is a shot by Kevin Fong, very well-known photographer in Dallas. Uh, this is the Kevin Fong. This is Andy Lai, another Vietnamese photographer. And she got an awesome lady for, for showing the, the ballet dance. And uh, I think I'm gonna book a ballet photographer now. The ballet photography is a little different from Steel photography because ballet is moving. Windows had a studio uh, one time at the Cover Girl Studio did a 
lady doing the ballet dance, I wasn't there. Yeah, I checked him out. Um, here, if anybody can come to this two image, uh, this is a lady photographer I know for long, but this is my critique actually. This is, a, this pretty much everything goes wrong. First of all, she put a model in the direct sun, which produced a very dramatic shadow on the face. Uh, second of all, she did not pose her right. See the arm right here, arm straight off. You all you can do is just ask the model to swing the arm out, reduce the uh, broadness of the arm. Second way is, since the body is slanted this way, in order to uh, in order to uh, uh, create a balance, the arm. The best is um, the body is leaning that way. The best is you have an arm in the back to balance out. It's like propping your body up, balance out. This will be far better image. And that's another thing is for her arm pretty heavy. You do not have her arm full. For if I shoot a teenager guy, boy, he's a skinny guy, or like me, used to be very skinny. I told him I will do the opposite. What I do the opposite is, look at me, what's opposite, right? For a man is you want a broad, big arm. You want a big arm, of course, you don't have a big arm like me. What I do is, see, you do is, oh, that's my sensor. That's called, that's called big arm. Did you see that? Man, I got a strong. See the muscle. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, exactly. That's showing the muscle come off. So in, intentionally increase the muscle size, but it's only, I mean, I mean, on a picture, see, wow, you've got a big muscle. Um, uh, push, push out, push out the whole thing. But for a lady, you don't want to do that. That's exactly what that um, model did wrong. Exactly what she did wrong. You don't do the, uh, you don't do, uh, folding arm like that. Yeah, that's a few critiques of this whole set. Actually, she did not have any whole set at all, whole set, yeah. Um, this is what we're gonna talk about later. We're gonna shoot in the sunflower field, uh, blue bonnet field later, uh, this, later this week. And uh, we will talk more, yeah. Okay, our model is ready. So we're gonna have a dress. Before dress, I'm gonna first shoot a standing up once. Standing up again. Uh, this one, okay. I'm gonna do this one again. The same straight, the feet cross over, both hands in the back, hands in the back, leaning back. Right. Oh, just wait a second. Yeah. The HDMI is not connected to, to your camera. Wait for one second. Oh, yeah. Oh, just pull out the other one. Yeah, I know. Put it in the right. Okay, now it's good. Automatic okay. sense it. Does it turn it off? You gave me the wrong one. Oh, sorry. Too tall. Why do you always hide it in the back? Too big. Okay.
I guess it's wrong. <laughs> Sucking. Oh, yeah, that's better. Yeah. Yeah. Chain down a little bit. Uh, uh, and uh, now, can you get, get head to kill the other way? Uh, chain down, chain down, chain down. Give me a smile. <laughs> smile. And uh, arm come out. Yes. I look at me, it's still slightly, give me a big smile. It's chin down, chin down. Right. Yeah. Body style, but only the head. Right. You smile? <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna do a sitting down pose. Let me see what you say. Turn sideways. Your body facing me. Sit on this side. Uh, sorry. Uh, do not have the model. Usually, I do not want a model sit all the way in. Sit the front half of the bar or even quarter of it. I'll show you the reason. And this dress doesn't bear up. Switch your leg. That's called pyramid composition, the triangle composition, pyramid composition. Pyramid composition is very classical in, in the classical Renaissance, pretty much uh, what we call Mona Lisa pose. Yeah. Yeah, it's a triangle. Okay, you look through that angle, so. That's kind of awesome. She just caught her at the <laughs> very good. Okay. 
think, come here, look at it. Slide, slide with your chin down, but the eye go up, right, that's it. I come back to me, me smile. Okay. Okay. I'm going to do another pose real quick. We don't have too much. Just sit up here. Sit up here. One second. Sit up here. 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 Sit up to the edge, sit straight, both feet tilt. I know you know it. Let me pull the dress up. Let me cross on. This thing. Okay. Let me do tilt. The front, front leg. From the feet a little bit more towards me. Right. The back leg hovers on. Right. right, that's it. Give me a lean forward a little bit. This one has my shoes on. Are we almost done? Not yet. But you haven't talked about the OS yet. OCF will be, uh, oh, right now it's all OCF. The camera, OCF different from the camera, flash on camera is, flash is on camera. Right now, I don't use a remote, but all the lights are not shooting from the camera. Right, let's get that. Yes. Uh, feet together. Right, that's it. Tiptoe feet exactly together. Right, tiptoe as much as you can. Okay. Uh, do me a favor. Keep your shoes on. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Pretty much. Then I will talk about the equipment that I will use, and uh, in in the end, I will you talk about the equipment I will be using. For, for for the nighttime trip. Now, once you've done that, oh, you got some pressure, but two feet. Two feet. Cross your arm, French shoulder, drop down. Yes. It's okay, that's good, that's good. The body, lean forward now. That's good, awesome. Okay. The only thing is the arms too close to the body. Right, exactly. Perfect. Um, yeah. Uh, I can do this is the front arm. Front arm instead of straight front arm, give me a slightly short arm. Right. Perfect. And then away from the body. Yeah. It's a straight little bit into uh, the feet. Make sure the feet together. Right. Lean forward, right, that's good. Uh, head to tilt too much, head straight a little bit. It's right, that's it, that's it. Okay. This is awesome. This is awesome. Yeah. Um, you notice I have her. You, there is a rule of third is um, 
in general speaking, there's no absolute rule, but usually the head do not want to tilt beyond 15 degree. 15 degree, then the head, the picture is unbalanced, not balanced. You can overbalance it by her leaning further up, then you can tilt back. But that's not, yeah, but that's a different one. If I, you know, in a flower, blue bonnet, you can do almost anything. Okay, are we done for the model? I think I'm yeah. done for the model. 可以多讲点,然后讲点技术方面的。技术方面, uh, in terms of, uh, uh, okay. Uh, everybody, since I'm shooting studio, today I'm using 24 to 70, uh, because we're in a close proximity. I usually, even in a studio, I shoot 7200, because I usually shoot at a little distance. Model? You want to yeah. No, no, no. I was going to the camera, uh, oh, I shut it off. Yeah, turn it off. Um, but usually, uh, if we go to blue bonnet field, the best is to use uh, best to, is to use seventy two hundred. So, so we have a distance to between the model and the photographer, and that also it has a compressed the perspective, compressed the depth of field. And it gave me a narrow depth of field. And uh, uh, the further reason is, um, oh, you, if you look at my flicker that link, uh, uh, the technique they were used, either use a wide angle, some of them use as much as 14 to 24, at 24 millimeter, to enclose the vast of sky. Other ways is includes the model, but does not have sky. I usually, I usually, usually for, don't forget, don't forget, do not put a skyline, a horizon, right next to the lake neck. You can either lift your camera up so the horizon drop below, or you can go camera low, the horizon go up, way, way above. I mean, the other way around, I'm sorry. Yeah, you can go up, so drop the, you totally not shooting the horizon at all. You can go below, so the horizon go low on the body. Bad, worst, worst thing is the horizon cut the neck, cut the upper body. You can drop below the waist, it'll be okay. Yeah, um, I'm gonna talk about it. Uh, I'm gonna talk about, do we need more? I don't think I need more model anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm going to talk about more of what we're going to shoot in the field today. Uh, in, uh, in the in my uh, uh, WeChat group, I said outdoor. I use this is the smallest. This is the Schumann flash. It's no different from any other uh, flash on camera, except that the yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, this is called Godox V1. V1 is one of the latest invention by Godox. It's a round head, so the reflector inside is more better uh, designed to give you concentrated light. This is called Schumann flash. This is the Schumann flash, which means uh, you can the Just camera. Hold on a second. That's uh, that's why the flash on camera. That's different from what we shoot. We'll shoot, actually shoot. Good thing about Godox is you not only uh, windows, you can come closer if you want. You can, you can move. Uh, you can zoom in. Yeah, uh, this is uh, 
Godox transmitter. This is the cheapest transmitter for $40. And this is the simplest transmitter. It's called R R2 is a series called R2. There's R1 is no longer compatible with R1 is 433 megahertz. R2 is uh, R2 is 2.4 gigahertz. Gigahertz, you can have um, It's a 32 channel, which means you can have, in a fashion show, you can have up to 32 photographers. Everybody set up their own light does not interfere with each other. As long as all your camera, all your, your flash are on the same channel, it will flash. Good thing about in between the each channel, in the each channel, you can have a five group A, B, C, D, E. That means you can control the A, B, C, D. As far as to the camera set, this flash, I can set it on slave. This flash, I can use it on camera as a main light, or I can use off camera, use transmitter to control this flash. This is called OCF, off camera flash. we pretty much with all, all my shoes off camera flash. I never, I seldom use on camera flash anymore. This way you can channel ch channel five. You can put or, or you can have a five, a 32 channel, five group. And this one is I put this one on A, B, C, D, E. I put a second one on uh, different group. I put a third one on different group. So everyone has a different effect. In the field, in the field, I use a quick pop. Uh, where's my uh, uh, can you bring me the, the 600? Okay, it's on my, yeah. And the the one. Those two are the same. This is another V1, I bought two of them. This is the color V1 in the, in the bowen mount bracket. This is a V1, V1 mounted on the, V1 on, um, bowen mount bracket. Bowen is the standard for attached softbox and the other accessories. It's pretty much standard in the market. So, Bowoma is the most popular. We're going to take that off for a second. The Bowoma, once you use the Bowoma, you don't use the tripod foot anymore. You basically use the Bowoma's foot on it. And uh, this is another softbox, which is a Bowoma. Standard. I'm gonna attach it. Um, that's one of the soft box so they all can also call baby dish. I have, oh yeah, it, I have it, it's in the trunk of my, uh,
With us, you want to give me a hand? You want to put this one on it? Now, if you look at the list I gave out earlier of all the camera that I have, all the flash that I have, everything in the list except the last, it's a V860, A50, does not have building modeling light. When does you want to turn on the modeling light? Yeah. Uh, what channel is that on? Channel 12? I usually always leave them on channel 12. Group, what, what group is it? Okay, channel 12. Channel 12 group. Okay. I'm gonna have Lacey again. This is on um, video. This will be perfect if I have this stuff in the last step back. Sit back a little bit. Sit back a little bit. Um, this will be perfect to have a beautiful wedding dress spread out. Okay, switch your feet. Yes. Uh, a normal connected. Uh, that's perfect. She already know what to do. So we'll see. Okay. Right now I have two flash. Uh, I have two flash on TPL.
your motor lights on. Yeah, and the modern life says it's too weak to see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I need another ice thing. Oh. That he is not flesh. Ten more minutes. Ah, ten more minutes. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. This thing is not flesh. Channel 12, slave A. <laughs> this is frustrating. I, I, I still I'm still learning how to be well sometimes it works, sometimes it's not, it did not, you know, it does not come up. It's not the same thing. Okay, yeah. Is anybody has any questions? I only have this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I gotta practice how to work. When you're in a field, you don't want to ask questions again. Step A, channel 12. 嗯, 大家有什么问题, okay, now this one works. Yeah. Okay, now this one works. Back in business. Uh, Sam, Lao Shijo, you mean T? That's what do we use TTL or manual mode in the field? Right now, I'm using TTL just because I'll get a should get it connected. But usually, okay, okay, I'll talk about it. And how about in the field? Okay, uh, in the field, I tell you what. Let me first get this thing working. Uh, it's good. Oh, what? 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 One question, okay? Ah, can you? 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 一般我们都是take以后picture display 你在那个拍之前就可以display 你是用了什么软件呢? Display在哪里? 就是你的屏幕 我们就是用了一个HDMI线 把那个相机和屏幕连在一起 OK 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 So whenever you see from the camera Yeah exactly Display on the TV OK OK that's good Okay, go back to TTL. Okay. Uh, you can just sit still. 
Um, you notice when we're in the field, okay, the shooting model, right? The very first thing you do is, of course, you know when you're shooting outdoor model, you want to use a narrow depth of field, which means you want aperture wide open. When you have aperture wide open, using aperture priority 2.8, pretty much 2.8, because during the day, you cannot go below 2.8. It'll be blown out. Then you will find out, forget about model. Just remove the model. Just shoot the scene that way you want to see. Find out how much the exposure based on 2.8 and lowers ISO and lowers ISO. Now, if your camera tells you the exposure is 500 or 1,000, but your sync speed can only go 250, what you gonna do? There are two ways you can do it. One is so HSS. When does you wanna explain what's HSS? HSS means high speed shutter. Now today's camera, today's camera it's on the flash. Today's flash, they can use HSS, which I personally have not. It's not my favorite way to shoot. Lots of people do shoot HSS, but HSS eat up lots of flash power. Yeah, the HSS. Uh, but HSS takes away lots of flash power. Uh, therefore, I personally do not use uh, HSS. I use a different way. Uh, if it's a five, a thousandth of a uh, second, it's required by the camera. I put two in the, I, in my camera, I have one, two in the natural density, neutral density, one, three stop natural density. Actually, I just recently bought a, uh, a variable neutral density. It's called between anywhere between three to eight stop neutral density. Yeah, the neutral density filter you put in front of your lens. You put it in the front of lens to cut down the exposure time required to have a proper exposure. Uh, that means if I put a two stop neutral density, if the camera says normal exposure is 1000, you immediately cut down to 250. They're within your flash range. Then, then you get a proper exposure, right? Then you add the flashlight. The flashlight, uh, you add the flashlight. Usually if the light in, in the field today, if it's a, almost a 1,000 uh, uh, shutter speed, you probably pretty much for the V1, V1 has 75 watt second power. For the V1, you probably need full power because you're set inside the soft box. Soft box itself is taking away two stuff of light. In this distance, uh, you probably need a distance that's about half of the uh, half power. If you're shooting away another five or six away distance, you probably need a full power. So that's on the V1. Uh, if we use a what we call before this one, I will. I use this one as accent light. Accent light, I did not use a diffuser. This is uh, V860. V860 is roughly around 60 watts second. 60 watts second, if I use a diffuser like that, you barely can get any light out of it. It will be too small. So I use this reflector. Reflector increase the light output. When this, when this has, uh, even those are called focusing light, you can increase the flash output. He uses those, but those are for long distance shooting. But usually you don't use it for model photography because the light beam is pretty narrow. Yeah. I will use this one as my accent. Uh, this is my main light. If you have a sun coming in the direction, you have a sun coming in the direction, put a sun behind the subject instead of, when you're shooting the direct sun, you do not want to models face the frontal arc, the frontal side in the sun. The frontal side should be in the shade. Now you say, well, it's frontal side, the face in the shade. You have the sun lit up the backside of the rim. 
using your flash to fill in the main subject to, according to the MBN line. Then you, you can get, get a balanced uh, exposure. That's what you see the Flickr uh, link, the last few uh, image from the Flickr link, those are all tried, but they are using, this is only 75 watts second. They are shooting in bright sunny day with action image, therefore I have, uh, I have the AD600. The 600 is the most powerful portable flash with this, yeah. It's, uh, it's the most powerful. Oh, Windows has a brand new 1200, am I right? No, it combined two. So Windows has 600 together. Yeah. Windows has, no, 1200. Windows has uh, Windows has a um, this is a no the the bulb combined two right two of them together two two times six hundred right yeah this is the power pack which is quite heavy for Uh, do you use a um, tether cable to monitor the photo taking? What type of cable? Tether cable. Tether, cable. tether. No, no, I never do. Only today. <laughs> um, 它只有, 它只今天在用. 然后另外一个问题是, in the later afternoon, do I need to use the temperature adjustment filter for flash? Uh, no, um, put it this way, okay. My flash color temperature is rated at 5,000, some of them uh, 5,500, but I always set my camera on 5,000 because the, my flash provides the main color temperature for the skin tone of the model. Now, it depends on the model. I have a beautiful model who's a very fairly light skin. 5,500 is okay. Uh, if you have a darker skin, you want the lower color temperature or higher? I forgot. Yeah, uh, uh, well, I normally don't adjust the color temperature. I just use whatever the flash is rated at 5,000. 5,000 5, or 5,500? 5, 5,500. Windows is right. Windows is always right. Okay. <laughs> set you, uh, set you your camera at 5,500. I set it to 5,000 because I want a little bit cooler skin tone. Am I right? The lower the temperature, you get the cooler skin tone. Yeah, so if I have a darker skin tone or brown color or maybe black person, I can drop down to 44,000, 4,500 sometimes. That's if I'm gonna, be critically shoot tweaking in the in the camera. But if you ask Tian Dan, they always shoot wrong. They always adjust the color temperature in Photoshop. Lightroom. 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 Okay. I don't have one, so <laughs> yeah. So uh, the color temperature it doesn't matter if you're shooting wrong. But I always shoot in JPEG. What I shoot because all the picture I posted in my picture, I never done any photoshopping. I don't even have Lightroom on my camera. So I have to make sure I shoot it right in the first place. Those are the habit when we're shooting film. Our, we used to shoot film, there's no way you can change. Okay, the cut temperature is 5,000. During the daylight, doesn't matter. If the daylight go all the way to 8,000, but let it, let it, if it's a, it, uh, overcast day, let it be. Just that the main light providing the skin tone is 5,000. It's from the flash. So just leave it as is. Now, when you say in the sunset, theoretically, if you want to get a correct color temperature tune, you do need to lower the temperature, am I correct? To make sure the skin tone is correct. But sunset is best time to get warmer tone on your skin. It's intentionally to have warmer skin tone. So in that case, do not change again. Make sense? So do not change again. Your main face is correct. 
your side light coming from the sun will be golden striking your face on the side. That'll be perfect. That's exactly what you want. Any other questions? I think. Uh, now it's 9.04. Let's see if there's Let's give a hand to our model. She's awesome. Thank you, Lacey. Yeah. No problem. Yeah. Any other questions?好，那如果没有什么问题，我们就结束了今天是感谢Sam老师，然后花两个小时时间给我们讲这个嗯人像不曝光的问题。嗯，我们也是第一次做直播，如果有什么嗯那个不不足的地方，也请大家多多包涵